in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather to celebrate this Mass, especially for the eternal repose of Rolando Egasani, that God will welcome him into the eternal banquet in paradise. And as we gather today as a people of faith and as a people of hope, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleanse from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy life, living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham. For I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died as did the prophets. 
Yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died, or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do not, I do know him and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham. Jesus said to them, amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we celebrate the Thursday of the fifth week of Lent, we hear in the readings just proclaim this notion of covenant, of the agreement that God has made with his people that God has made with each and every one of us. God has made an agreement. And the agreement that God makes with us is that he will send us someone who will redeem us, someone who will set us free from the slavery of sin. And the one whom the Father has sent is Jesus Christ. Hence, we hear in the gospel just proclaim Jesus saying to those gathered around him, before Abraham came to be, I am. Jesus who existed from the beginning of time, who is, was not made, but was consubstantial with the Father as we hear in the creed every time we profess the creed. He's the same God who walks with us along the journey of faith. And that's God's agreement with us. That's his covenant, that he will walk with us. But we, in turn, my dear brothers and sisters, must do our part of the covenant. We must, too, like Jesus, remain faithful to that covenant. And our part is simply to be open to be open to receive God in our lives and allow him to transform who and what we are. And so as we gather here today to celebrate this Eucharist, we are challenged, we are in, invited to renew that covenant with Jesus, the eternal and everlasting covenant that he has made with us that he will remain faithful to us to the very end. Let us pray that we too might never leave the sight of Jesus, might continue to walk with him and allow him to be our companion along the journey. That every day that we wake up, especially in these hard, difficult moments, that the first thing we do before we turn on our TV to look at the latest news is to thank God for being with us, even in the midst of everything that is happening. That as we go about our day, we remember that God is present, that God is there, and that he continues to walk with us. The Lord remembers his covenant forever are the words of the psalm just proclaimed a few brief moments ago. May we never forget, my dear friends, that our God is always faithful to us each and every day of our lives.
trusting in God's providence as did Abraham, our father in faith, we offer our prayers to the Father that Christ may continue to strengthen the faith of church leaders in their work for witnessing the gospel during this Lenten season. Let us pray to the Lord that all who are elected to lead nations and people may be guided by the just hand of God in all their decision making, especially during these difficult times. Let us pray to the Lord that the Holy Spirit may give comfort to those who struggle with chronic illness or pain, or those who are struggling with COVID-19, that God will comfort them during these hard times. Let us pray to the Lord that our Lenten practices may be inspired by Jesus' own prayer and fasting. Let us pray to the Lord that God may bless all our faithful departed and grant them eternal rest with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray in a very special way during these difficult moments for all of our doctors, nurses, and all those in the medical field that as they continue to work to save lives, they may find the courage and strength. In Jesus, let us pray to the Lord. God of covenants old and new, hear our prayers and grant all we need, for we offer all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bride we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bride of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive back, O oh Lord, these sacrificial offerings, which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in an exaltation we acclaim. Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Osana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Osana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, and by the help of our mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away this. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
my dear brothers and sisters, even though you cannot join us here at this Eucharistic altar, we invite you to join us in making a spiritual communion that you may be open to receive God in your hearts and in your lives, especially as we all long to come together once again as God's family here at this altar. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray, that as from day to day, they reject what does not please you. They may be filled instead with delight at your command. Through Christ our Lord, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go forth glorifying God with your lives.